It's actually crazy. It's, <laughs> it's genuinely mind blowing that this is possible. I've been searching for something like this for a while and this just does it so well that it's unbelievable. In this video, I'm gonna show you an AI writing content cluster machine that's gonna blow your mind. So the website I'm talking about in this video is machined.ai. I only discovered this last week. I've been playing around with it and genuinely I think it's brilliant. This is a site that's gonna enable you to create a whole website with topical authority, well-written articles and content clusters in just about five minutes. I'm gonna show you it right now. So I'm gonna to link to this site below. This is machined.ai. You can see here, write entire content clusters automatically. Define your topic and audience and have AI build your cluster and write all of the content. The crazy thing is that it actually works. So I'm gonna click try for free here. They do do a seven day free trial. And then after that, it's $49 a month. That doesn't include the actual writing cost, by the way, because you are using your own OpenAI API. But the cost for that is fairly minimal. If you use GPT 3.5 from OpenAI, then it costs you next to nothing to produce a 1000 word article. For GPT 4, then it will cost you around 50 cents to produce each article. So still not a lot. So let's try the free trial here. I'm just gonna put in my details very quick and then I'll get back to you. Right, we're in. Next, as part of the setup, you need to paste in your API keys from OpenAI. And if you don't know how to do that, this is, if you, it's not something you've used before, then go and search on YouTube, how to get an OpenAI API. But all you need to do is sign up to OpenAI and then you can go into their back end, sounds, sounds wrong, um, you can go onto their site and find your API key. So I'm gonna do that here, which will be on the OpenAI dashboard. It's gonna take me right through to it. And then I've already got one here because I've used it previously, but I do need to create a new secret key um, for my new account. So let's use machined two. And then I'm gonna copy paste that and put it back into my site right here. There you go. It's done. My OpenAI key now works. You can also connect your WordPress sites to it here, which means machined AI will be able to post directly to your site, which is also really powerful. But that's not something I'm gonna set up right now. I'm just gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna click on create cluster and you're gonna see exactly how we can create 10, 50, 100 articles in no time at all. So this is where you're gonna define the target topic. It's gonna to be something you have to decide yourself. You've gotta figure out what your website or what your niche is. I'm sure a lot of you watching this will probably know that already. But let's just do one very quickly. It does give an example here of using this dog walking um, and then like arrows and stuff. I don't particularly like that. I've used that a few times and it doesn't spit out the best results. So instead I actually go for the title or the keyword that I want to target and then it usually does slightly better. So I've got a food site that I've been playing around with and just putting some AI stuff out there with more as a testing site so I'm going to do it for that and you, you will also be able to go and check it out it'll be in, in a link in the description below. So that would be something like um, best Lebanese food. Um, and the, the target audience would be people traveling to Lebanon. Uh, and then we're gonna go down. And here's where you're gonna put in the URL because also it's gonna do all of your interlinking for you. So as long as I put in the correct URL I'm gonna use, which is goodfoodmama.com, it's gonna interlink all of these articles and link back to the one I want to target, best Lebanese food. Gonna click autopilot, it's gonna give us three options, either small, which is five articles, medium, 10, or large, 30 supporting articles. I've been preferring to go for medium, which is your article you're targeting, best Lebanese food, with 10 supporting articles underneath. I'm then gonna do that four or five times to create 50 articles, and if you wanted to stop just there, that's pretty much a whole niche site. Let's do it.
It only takes around 30 seconds. It's just finding the keywords right now and creating the articles for me right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Right, so it has now decided to target discover the finest Lebanese restaurants in Lebanon. It then gives me the volume, the competition, and the trend here. It's, that's the article we're now targeting. It's decided that this would be a good one to target based on those keywords. And then it's given me 10 supporting articles underneath with related keywords. All of these articles are gonna interlink and then also link back to the main article that we wanted to create. So it's also given me Lebanese food near me, Lebanese desserts, Lebanese cuisine, Lebanese food recipes, Lebanese meze, yada, 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 goes all the way down, created 10 more. I like that it gives you the volume and the competition, that I think is really cool. You can then choose which GPT model from OpenAI to use to create the article, either GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. GPT-4 is more powerful, but it is slightly more expensive. I'm gonna choose it for this. It should only be around 50 cents per article anyway. You can then choose the tone of voice, SEO optimized, or all of these down here. I'm gonna stick with SEO optimized right now. And then the perspective, he, she, it, or you, yours, whatever. I prefer second person because I'm talking to someone here, someone that might be searching for the best Lebanese restaurants in Lebanon. So I'm gonna click second person and then it will change the title as well to help that person searching it. You can also do this from the top. I actually prefer all of them in second person. That's just my personal perspective. And then it's gonna change all of the titles to target the person searching. Now, because all of these are supporting articles. I don't care as much about them, and so I'm gonna use GPT 3.5 for them. If you wanted to use GPT 4 for all, you can. You just, again, change it here, and then once that's done, you click right. Oh, error, oh dear. <laughs> Why? Ah, okay. I accidentally just clicked off all of them. So let me just change that back to 3.5 and then I'm gonna change that to GPT-4 and then click write. And this should take about 30 seconds to write the article. This is using the OpenAI API, the, the, the stuff you know from ChatGPT or from OpenAI. It's basically using that to write the article using machined AI's own prompts in the background to create the best SEO optimized article it can. You can also, this just goes on in the background, so you can just leave it and then come back to it later. Okay, and that is ready. So let's read and see how that turned out. Discover the best Lebanese restaurant in Lebanon for authentic cuisine. It's then got a fairly good article, all interlinked. These are all the other articles we're about to create with the correct URLs. It got, it's got key ingredients for Lebanese cuisine, what popular dishes are, how to select the best restaurant, and then a few examples. I've been to Lebanon, that is a very good restaurant. Uh, M. Sharif, I've also been there. These are legit real restaurants that is pumping out. Of course, it doesn't have images yet, so you have to go in and manually put in any images you want. It also has an FAQ at the end. That's a pretty good article. Um, obviously, I'm just skimming it. Um, I could then go and edit it if you want to make it even better. But for our purposes, that's a pretty good article. Then I'm going to go write all of the ones underneath. Uh, what you can also do for that is just click here. Oh, sorry. Let me just click the top left there. And then I'm going to click here, write articles. It's then just going to write the rest of them with all of the links ready to be posted to WordPress. Pew. I just made 11 interlinked clustered articles all related to one another in about two minutes.
It's actually crazy. It's, <laughs> it's genuinely mind blowing that this is possible. I've been searching for something like this for a while and this just does it so well that it's unbelievable. It does cost $50 a month once you finish your trial and then obviously you're using your API which also costs you a little bit, not much, but I think it's completely worth it. I don't think Lebanese food in Lebanon is probably the best uh, keyword to target. There's quite a high competition there, high volume, but probably it says low, but quite a high competition. Um, but you could use this for underserved niches and get topical authority and decent clusters very, very quickly. Just while I'm recording this little bit, it's writing on the articles and it's popping up all blue now saying ready, ready, ready. So cool. Yeah, go and play around with it yourself. This is just a quick introduction video to how that works. I would highly recommend going to have a look and seeing how you can make it work for your own AI sites or even your own niche sites that you haven't used AI on previously. It'll give you a good basis to then go and rewrite those articles, edit them into a personal perspective with a interlinked set of articles. So these are all ready. I can then just click into them quickly to see how they look. I don't know, Le best Lebanese food or Lebanese street food. Let's try that one. Overview of Lebanese street food, yada, yada, yada. It gives all of them. I would then go drop in photos. Uh, it tells me about street food stands. It gives me some other little bits in there. Still, if I was going to upload this, I would probably get a VA to go through it first and tidy it up. It doesn't look perfect. But for our purposes for this video, it's absolutely fine. Then I can go and click post drafts to WordPress. Now this WordPress isn't connected because I just set up a new account for this video, but it's very easy to set up. It shows you on Machine AI how to do that. I would then just click post draft to WordPress. All of those articles would go into my drafts in my WordPress, ready for a VA to go through or ready for myself to add in some images and click upload. That's it, 11 articles done. I would then go and repeat the process, do another 11, do another 11, do another 11, take you maybe an hour to build a whole site. <laughs>